Well, one team has the Clarence Campbell Bowl, one team has the Prince of Wales Trophy. Both teams want a shot at that shiny piece of silver hardware known as the Stanley Cup, and these two squads will get the chance at it right now in the Stanley Cup Final. We welcome you into this Penns TV preview, Penns Pulse, the Stanley Cup Pro Final Preview Edition here yes. on Penns TV. Josh Getzoff joined by the Hall of Famer Mike Lang, the old 2-9er Phil Bork. It is the Penguins, the San Jose Sharks vying for hockey's holy grail. The fifth time you've had a chance to call the Stanley Cup Final, Mikey. The fifth time you've been a part of it, Borky, twice as a player, three times a broadcaster. Does this ever get old? Oh, how can it get old? I mean, this is what you play for. You go through 82 games to try and get a chance to get uh, Lord Stanley's uh, silverware. And it's just exciting. I mean, it's great for everybody. It's great for the city, I think, more, more than anything else. The city just comes, becomes vibrant, alive. They become part of the team. Well, I can just remember <laughs> all the work you put in the offseason, all the sprints and all the biking and all the weights and everything else. And Mikey, I can remember rolling in here in September for training camp and thinking, geez, is this the team? Is we gonna get back? And you just never know. It's such a long, long, hard road. Penn's back in the final for the fifth time in franchise history. The San Jose Sharks making their first ever trip to the Stanley Cup final. It all starts on Monday night. And when you look at the two paths these teams took to get here, no doubt they both earned it. You talk about the Penguins exercising the demons of the Rangers in round one, knocking off their rivals and the President's Trophy winning Capitals in round two, and of course bouncing the defending Eastern Conference champions in seven games in the East final. No doubt they've earned their way here to play for the Cup. No, and I, I think it's, uh, we've got the, the two best teams that are left. There isn't any question about it. Uh, the, the, the amazing thing to me is how similar the teams are. Yep. Uh, they both are speed, pretty much speed teams, uh, I mean, in their lineup. So it's going to be an interesting series, I think, to see how that develops. See if somebody is quicker than the other. I, we don't really know until they start playing it on a, on a continual basis. And when you get a seven-game series, a whole lot of things can happen. Josh, you make a good point. The, the paths are very similar. Yep. Both of these teams have new coaches. Both of these teams uh, caught fire right around uh, the holidays or the, or the new year. Two best teams since January 1st. And you talk about exercising demons. You're exactly right. The Penguins, who got knocked out the last two years by the New York Rangers, they get them in the first round. For the San Jose Sharks, they didn't make the playoffs last year. Right. But the year before, we remember that one. Up three games to none to the LA Kings. Who do they get in the first round? The, LA the Kings, Kings. Yep. and they slay that dragon. And also knocked off the Predators in round two and then won the Western Conference crown by knocking out the St. Louis Blues in six games in the Western Conference final. Well, you mentioned the new coaches, and I think that's something worth touching on because both of these teams seem to find their stride under their new coaches around the same time, early January. And really since mid-January, these are the two best teams in the National Hockey League, which then makes it no real surprise to see them here in the Stanley Cup final. You know, to me, Peter DeBoer was in Florida, and then he went to New Jersey, went to the Stanley Cup final there. And now with San Jose, he's doing something right, folks. He really is. So I give him a lot of credit, and he's got him to the final. For Mike Sullivan, I think it's just kind of a, uh, I don't want to say it's a dream come true, but for him, it's probably a lot of pondering over the years and thinking, when I get back, how am I going to approach this? He approached it in a positive manner. They lost the first four games that he, that he coached. Right. And then they went on a whirlwind tour uh, to finish up. So for him, I think all the hard work that he's put into it, and he's seen the results of it, and the team playing together, as a team, have been the, the most noticeable things. Yeah, the coaching staff is, is so important uh, because of uh, their connection with the players. And you're right, Peter DeBoer, it's only the second time he's been to the playoffs as a head coach, Stanley Cup final, yeah, both times. It's, it's crazy. But also, you look at their extended staff, Bob Bugner, former Penguin. You have Steve Spott, who also coached at Kitchener, where um, the, they came from before. Also, the Moose is part of the staff, yep. too, Johan Hedberg. So, and, and the thing about both these coaches is they've been able to make adjustments on the fly, whether it's lineup changes, whether it's X's and O's, both of them are very proactive that way. Lots of things to look forward to as far as this matchup is concerned. Some great matchups between the lines on the ice, lots of star power on either side. And then, of course, you have a couple reunions. Paul Martin coming back to Pittsburgh after a few years with the Penguins. He signed with the Sharks in the offseason. Nick Spaulding, who spent last year with the Pens, traded at the deadline to San Jose. He'll be back here as well, so a couple familiar faces. And then you look at the Penguins' side. We mentioned Mike Sullivan. He was a member of the first-ever team that San Jose had. So some interesting reunions all around here. Well, you know, I, we know about Paul Martin. We know how good a player he can be. Uh, can be. And, I think when you look at the track record when he played here too, a lot of times he was injured in playoff competition, Borky, but he's been healthy this year and a yeah, healthy Paul Martin is a tough guy to beat. Yeah, we know Nick Spalling is yeah. he's a he's yeah. a role guy, he's a mucker, he's a grinder, he's not gonna score a bunch of goals, he'll get his chances, but he takes a lot of pride in the defensive side of the puck and killing penalties. And as far as Mike Sullivan, 
Uh, I'm sure he'll giggle a little bit about this time in San Jose uh, because remember Mario was getting about eight games, uh, eight points a game against the Sharks back in the day. I did look at one thing. It's kind of funny. His second year there, he was a minus 42. Wow. You think that would be the worst? That was the fourth worst. There were three other guys that were worse than him. So those days are long gone for the Sharks, and uh, here they are in their first Stanley Cup final. Yeah, they certainly struggled out of the gate, but now right here at the top of the NHL's mountain with the Penguins vying for the Stanley Cup. Okay, let's dive deep into this series now. You take a look at the San Jose Sharks, as we said, a lot of star power, a lot of big names on this team. But, Mike, if you had to pick a couple players or a player in particular that you're watching during the Stanley Cup final, who is it? Well, Joe Pavelski certainly is their captain and the guy who is uh, – led by how he plays. I mean, he is a terrific hockey player, leads the playoffs going to the final and, and goals. Joe Pavelski, I mean, really, you, you have to give him his due, and we'll, we'll find out if the Penguins can slow him down in any way. Captain of the Sharks, definitely got to watch there. Borky? A couple guys for me, Logan Couture, who is just uh, chewing up the, uh, the postseason here points-wise. Uh, missed a big chunk of games with an injury during the uh, regular season. Uh, missed about the core of the season. He's healthy. He's got great jump, and he's the kind of uh, that second-tier uh, scoring where if you're going to load up on the Pavelski line and Thornton and Hurdle, then Couture has been hurting a lot. Also, Mark Edward Vlasic is a defenseman that not that many people know about, but he's done a really good job here in the playoffs being matched up against the other team's best offensive player. So look for him to probably match up against Sid. Yeah, Couture didn't even play against the Penguins in the regular season with his injury, and he has 24 points here in the Stanley Cup playoffs lighting it up. And you mentioned at Mark Edward Vlasic. Worth mentioning that yesterday Sidney Crosby was asked about him prior to the Stanley Cup final. See his eyes light up, obviously having some past history with him on Team Canada. That's a very underrated defenseman uh, there in San Jose. So let's take a look at the Penguins now vying for their fourth ever Stanley Cup championship in this Stanley Cup final. And Mikey, who are you watching on the Penguins in this series? Well, I've kind of watched the play of uh, Carl Hagelin uh, throughout the playoffs, and he's been most impressive to me, not so much from the offensive side, but from the defensive side. It'll be interesting to see what the Penguins do to match up against Joe Thornton's line with Pavelski and uh, Tomas uh, Hurdle. So if he, in fact, is the guy, he's got the speed to be able to compete and work uh, against Pavelski. And then again, uh, to the goaltending part of it, uh, Matt Murray uh, will probably in all likelihood start in this series up against uh, the Sharks, but I think it's going to be a key ingredient. The, the good thing, I think, for the Penguins, if there's any fault uh, at all in uh, Murray's play, you've got Marc-Andre Fleury to to come in and, uh, and, and try and get you a chance to win the cup. So those are guys that I would look at. Everybody wants you to go about offensive end of it, but I'm looking even more on the defensive side. And just like the Penguins did not see Logan Couture this season, the Sharks have not seen Matt Murray. Yeah. So there's something interesting to watch here in this series. Borky, who are you watching on the Pens? Uh, I'm going to go off the board a little bit because, I mean, the obvious. You know, that Sidney Crosby, Evgeny Malkin, uh, you know, Phil Kessel, they all have to be great. But Nick Benino is a guy for me that can be a real difference maker in this series. It's kind of fly underneath the radar. Everybody thinks he's going to be the checking center iceman. He seems to score big goal after big goal for the Penguins. And oh, by the way, he was a San Jose Shark draft pick. He never played for the Sharks, but he was drafted by them. So he did a little bit of uh, uh, undercurrent uh, there. Uh, and also Chris Letang, who had a big, big goal in game number six against Tampa Bay. Uh, I'm sure he's thinking, okay, Burns, Letang, Burns, Letang. And I'm sure he's going to accept that challenge, try to be the best defenseman on the ice. Those are the two highest scoring defensemen from mid-January on in the National Hockey League, Brent Burns and Chris Letang. Okay, so while we're doing this preview right here, we can see out of our peripheral the Stanley Cup in the background. It's here. It's up for grabs now in the final. What do the Penguins have to do to take it in this series, Mike? they got to play the, as a team. They have to play what, what has brought them here. If they do that, uh, I think they have a good chance to win the Cup. I think it's that close between these two teams. Uh, We'll see what happens. That's what we'll do. <laughs> Borgie, I know you've won it yeah. before. You see it there in the peripheral. What are you thinking as far as the Penguins? Need yeah, to just do? a couple things for me, Josh. Number one is um, is to shut down those big boys. I mean, they're real flying. Couture and Pavelski and, and Thornton, they are they are absolutely flying. And you've got to be physical on them. It's tough this time of year. Your body has so many aches and pains. So it's going to be tough to shut them down. And the other thing is special teams. It's so important. You look at that San Jose power play. It's a house on fire. It's operating at 27%. They use four forwards, one defenseman, a lot like the Penguins. Uh, and, uh, you know, that's so imperative to stay out of the box. Three is my max. Three is the most times you can put that power play on the ice in this series. You start training camp in September. You battle through all those 82 regular season games. And then the spring comes along. You battle through the Stanley Cup playoffs to get to this moment, the Stanley Cup final. It is the Pittsburgh Penguins, San Jose Sharks, game one Monday night at Consol Energy Center. For the Hall of Famer Mike Lang and the old 2-9er Phil Bork, I'm Josh Getzoff. Thanks for watching our final preview right here on Penns TV. Yeah. Mm. Ooh. <laughs>